Kind of develop a little bit later on today, but things are quiet for now. And let's throw it back to Friday. It was a gorgeous sunrise. Got this photo yesterday. This was Cell Creek. Tracy Morgan captured this. You can see those really nice hues of red, yellow, and orange to start the day. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. What a great shot. Thank you, Tracy, for sending that in. But as we take a look at your weather headlines, again, a dry start to your Sunday. Showers and storms develop later today, and then will remain unsettled Monday into Tuesday. So here's a look at your temperature stepping out of the door. Check this out. 75 degrees in Little Rock, nearly 15 degrees cooler here in Chattanooga. So a very comfortable morning. 54 in Athens and Blue Ridge. Same for Murphy. 63 in Altamont and 60 in Fort Payne. So this morning, the warmest temperatures in our western communities along the Cumberland Plateau and down into northeast Alabama. Later today, we'll top out in the low to mid 80s, 85, your forecast high, 79 is the normal, so we'll finally be above normal. And that old record back in, let's see, 1940, 94 degrees. It's not going to be that hot, but it is going to be a nice warm day across the Tennessee Valley. And as you take a look at your current radar, a few light showers in Arkansas, this is what we're going to be watching through the day. So this is just coming into frame. You can see some storms rolling through southern Indiana and Illinois. Those are going to try to find their way to the Tennessee Valley later this evening. So the first part of your day going to be dry with a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures climbing into the mid 70s by lunchtime. And then as we continue through the afternoon and evening, those rain chances will gradually bump up as moisture works back into the Tennessee Valley. So let's take a look at your future cast again. First part of the day going to be nice here across Tennessee Valley. So if you have any plans early on, no issues. After about 4 p.m., we'll start to have some showers and storms showing up in our northern areas, pushing to the south. And again, some of these showers and storms that develop could have some pretty heavy rain, lightning, thunder, and maybe even some damaging wind gusts. So we'll watch that pretty closely. And then later in the evening, it looks like widespread rain going to try to push in from the north. That could continue into the overnight on and off. So again, there could be a few rumbles of thunder to potentially wake you up early Monday morning. And for that that Monday morning commute, there's going to be some wet roadways. So you might want to give yourself a little extra time out there. Set the alarm clock a little bit early. That rain will continue on and off as Monday is going to be a relatively active day here across the Tennessee Valley. And then by the evening, things will start to taper off to a degree. So very active over the next couple of days today, especially this evening, and have a marginal risk for severe weather. So again, this is level one out of five. Damaging wind gusts, small hail will be possible. Really no tornado threat and localized heavy rainfall. So that's really from Calhoun, Fort Payne, northbound in that dark green shade between about 6 and 11. Probably going to be our best window for strong to severe storms today, but overall a pretty low end threat. And here's a look at your future cast rainfall through Monday. Again, rainfall rates and the amount of rain that we see through Monday can be highly variable. So if you get under one of those really heavy storms, it won't take much to pick up a quick inch or two of rain. So that's a trend we'll watch closely. But as we move into the middle of the week, we will have drier weather trying to set up shop here across the Tennessee Valley with isolated storms arriving Friday into Saturday. So we've talked about it a little bit to start the month. It's been very cool here for the first couple of days of May, about eight degrees below normal so far. Average high for the month, 71, average low 47. That's going to change in a pretty big way into next week. We're going to be in the mid to upper 80s pretty much every single day, which is about 5 to 10 degrees above normal and that pattern trend continues. So as we go through the middle of May, pretty good probability of above normal temperatures here across much of the Tennessee Valley. So for your Sunday 85 dry to start the day. Showers and storms possible later on highs again in the 80s tonight. 62 storms continue mostly cloudy with south winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour for your next seven days. Again, things stay active through Tuesday, drying through the middle of the week, and we'll keep those 80s rolling all the way through next weekend, Riley. Thank you very much.